So I think I'd always had an interest in taking photos from the sky, from the air, um, enjoyed flying. And when I saw drone technology in its infancy, when it was custom built rigs, pulley fed gimbals, none of the stuff that we've got available to us today, we're talking five, six, seven years ago, I looked at it and thought, you know, the ability to put a camera in the sky but control it from the ground just really interested me. So uh, I run Eastwood Media, we're a creative production company based in North Wales. We do a variety of different roles, but I guess we're probably most known for some of the rally car work that we do. We've worked as DJI's UK pilot team for a few years. DJI very kindly asked us to work Goodwood Festival of Speed back in 2016, and for three years we, we worked as their drone team on the Wales Rally GB, which was really exciting. It's probably the hardest job of the year we had to do, flying drones in close proximity to rally cars in the Welsh forests in inclement weather, shall we say. But you know, it's absolutely fascinating and a real insight working behind the scenes on an event like a World Rally Championship. So off the back of that, we've, we've worked for um, Ferrari commercials in Spain and Italy, and some of our other colleagues within the industry. Back here in North Wales, we work for Denbyshire Council, we work, we've worked for CADU and some of the Visit Wales projects, flying drones and making films to promote the beautiful area that we live in here. But I think if people are looking to get into using drones for filming or photography, um, there's a variety of drones out there that, that you can use now and the technology has really come on in the last couple of years. They're, they're a lot easier to fly, the fail safes are built in now, the geofencing so you don't fly in, in places that you're not supposed to. But I think you know, we, we, we run courses here at Eastwood Media teaching people how to fly drones and how to build confidence in, in flying drones. And, and really it's just practice. Finding somewhere safe to fly, big open fields, speaking to a friendly farmer or something and, and finding somewhere to fly and really acquainting yourself with how does the drone work. So even putting the camera to one side, understanding which orientation to fly the drone um, and the characteristics of it, allowing you to understand what can the drone do. In terms of taking photos, it's a tripod in the sky really. So you're looking at where can I put the drone to get a different angle on, or, or a different viewpoint on something. When you're filming, it's that transition of where are you flying that drone to get that shot. And what we teach our students here is uh, very much like an A to B method, thinking about a wire line in the sky and how do you need to move the drone and rotate the drone and position the drone to get an interesting shot. But also we, we kind of encourage people to think about the limitations. So if you're flying it, what we call single operator, where you're flying the drone and controlling the camera, Try not to be too um, extravagant, if you like, in what you're trying to achieve. Don't run before you can walk. Um, learn what shots you can do and what shots you can't do. Some of the shots, or I'd say a lot of the shots that we achieve for the rally cars um, and, and some of the sports cars that, that we're filming, we fly in dual operator. So I have one of my staff is flying the drone and I might be controlling the camera. And that's how we get those really dynamic shots.